Imagine our great land, India, as a living, breathing body. The rivers are its veins, carrying the lifeblood of water across its vast expanse. For centuries we have watched these rivers with reverence and respect. Some flow with such force that they flood the lands, while others run dry, leaving the earth thirsty and cracked. This is a story as old as time itself. But what if we could balance this flow? What if we could take water from where it is in surplus and guide it to where it is desperately needed? This is the grand dream behind India's National River Linking Project, a vision so ambitious it seeks to reimagine the very geography of our nation, ensuring that no field is left parched and no home is swept away by floods. The idea is beautifully simple, much like a humble recipe that combines basic ingredients to create something magical. The project plans to connect India's major rivers through a massive network of canals and reservoirs. Canals Reservoirs Think of it as creating new pathways for our sacred waters. When a river like the Brahmaputra swells with monsoon rains, the excess water, instead of causing devastation, can be carefully diverted. It would travel through these man-made channels to regions like Rajasthan or Tamil Nadu, where the monsoons have been weak. It is a plan born from necessity, a modern solution to an age-old problem of imbalance, a testament to human ingenuity working in harmony with nature's grand design. This is not a small undertaking. It is a project of epic proportions, a story that will be told for generations. The plan involves connecting 30 major rivers across the country, weaving them together with a network of canals stretching over an astonishing 12,000 kilometers. The project is broadly divided into two main parts. The first is the Himalayan component, Ganga Brahmaputra. The second is the peninsular component, Mahanadi Godavari Krishna Kovari. Together, they form a single unified system, a national water grid for a new India. Among the many proposed links, one stands out for its sheer scale and ambition, the Sada Yamuna Rajasthan Sabarmati Link. This is planned to be the longest river link in the entire project, a colossal canal stretching approximately 1,835 kilometers. It will begin at the Sada River in the Himalayan foothills travel across the plains to meet the Yamuna, extend through the arid landscapes of Rajasthan, and finally reach the Sabamati River in Gujarat. It connects diverse cultures, climates, and communities with a single thread of water. The purpose of this mega canal is profound, a river of hope for India's most water-scarce regions. While the Himalayan link is a future dream, the first chapter is already being written. The Ken Betwa link project in central India is the first river interlinking project under construction. For Bundelkhand people, long hit by water scarcity, this is a ray of hope. It promises water for fields and a future where children need not migrate for work. The benefits of linking India's rivers are as vast and life-giving as the rivers themselves. First and foremost, the project is a powerful weapon against the twin curses of floods droughts that plague our nation year after year. During the monsoon, some regions are inundated with catastrophic floods, causing immense loss of life and property. At the same time, other parts of the country are reeling under severe drought. By creating a network to transfer water from flood-prone river basins to water-scarce ones, the project can help mitigate floods quench the thirst of dry lands. Beyond disaster management, the project holds the key to securing India's food supply. Agriculture is the soul of our country, but over half of our farmland is still dependent on rainfall. The interlinking canals will bring assured irrigation to millions of hectares, freeing farmers from dependence on unpredictable monsoons. With reliable water, farmers can cultivate multiple crops a year, increasing their yields and their income. The flow of water also brings with it the gift of light and energy. The project plan includes building dams and reservoirs to store water and generate clean, renewable electricity. Hydroelectric plants along the canals will add thousands of megawatts to the national grid. This additional power will fuel our industries, light up our homes and drive economic growth. In essence, the project promises a trinity of benefits. Water security, food security, energy security. Every great journey is filled with challenges, and the path to linking India's rivers is no exception. The sheer scale of the project brings with it an enormous financial cost. 
building thousands of kilometers of canals, constructing massive dams, acquiring land, is an incredibly expensive endeavor, with estimates running into trillions of rupees. Another significant challenge lies in the project's potential impact on the environment. Rivers are not just channels of water, they are living ecosystems that support a rich diversity of aquatic life forests, wildlife. Diverting the natural flow of a river can have unforeseen consequences. There are concerns that building dams and canals could lead to the submergence of forests, displacement of wildlife, disruption of delicate aquatic habitats. Politics and people also add layers of complexity to this grand plan. Water is a deeply emotional and political issue in India, and rivers often flow across state boundaries. The project requires cooperation and agreement between multiple states, as one state must be willing to share its surplus water with another. Reaching a consensus on water-sharing formulas can be difficult, as each state has its own needs and concerns. Furthermore, the project will involve the displacement of communities living in areas where dams and canals are to be built. Ensuring that these people are properly rehabilitated and compensated is a moral and social responsibility that must be handled with great care and empathy. Despite these formidable challenges, the importance of the National River Linking Project for India's future cannot be overstated. It is a vision that dares to dream of a water-secure India, free from the cyclical pain of droughts floods. This is a story of hope, a journey that will define India's destiny for centuries to come.